Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our last lesson here on parallel lines and transversals. Um, if you have my class, then you want to make sure you have these notes, which go with the homework, which is copied on the back. Okay, so let's talk about the three types of solving for x that we're going to see with the parallel lines and transversals. Um, some of this we've already talked about. Others are going to be new today. So let me remind you that when we have our parallel lines and a cut by a transversal, what we want to start with is um, doing a pattern around. So um, in class, we've been talking about doing A, B, A, B, A, B. It's really simple to do that. So starting with the first angle, we'll label it A, all right? And then the second angle right next to it, we're going to label B. And I'm trying to do this with a marker, so hopefully you can see it, okay? And then A. And then B again. And then A. And then B. And you want to go all the way around your figure, not just do the top, okay? So every other one's got to be A, B, A, B, A, B. And I tried to color code it as well so you can easily see which angles go with which angles. So all the ones labeled A should be equivalent and all the ones labeled B should be equivalent. So once you've done that, if you have um, a situation like this, you want to check to see if you get an automatic answer, okay? And in this case, we can see that angle A, blue angle A here, is 100 degrees. So we're going to start with that. A equal 100 degrees. Um, and then if you can find B, go ahead and do that because it'll help you later. So B in this case is going to be one, um, 180 because we're all on straight lines minus that 100 degrees. So we know angle, all the angle B's are 80 degrees, okay? So we know each angle and the degree, but the idea is to figure out what the value of X is, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our equation, 14X minus 4, and that is on a B angle. So it's going to be our answer of B. So we're going to do 14X minus 4. And since it's on the B angle, we know that we need to use that it equals 80 degrees, okay? And so then we can solve for X. We're going to start by adding 4 to each side. And then, um, so we want to cancel out our minus 4 and plus 4 here, all right? So we got that. And then bring down 14X. Oops equal 80 plus 4 is 84 and then this is 14 times x so we want to divide this side by 14 cancel it and divide this side by 14 and get our answer and then we know that x is equal to 6 okay so that's how we do the first kind and we've been working on that okay let's look at the next one we want to do the same thing here we want to label all the way around just so that we're sure, okay? So I'm gonna label the same way, A, B. And you want it, you're labeling the angle. Um, so even if, uh, you just wanna make sure that you don't miss one. So I like to label right as close to the actual angle as possible so that you know you didn't miss one and that you're doing your pattern all the way around, A and B. Okay, so this time when you look at the figure, there is no um, automatic answer. We don't know any degrees yet. So what we have to do to find X is we're going to have to decide, do we have congruent angles or do we have supplementary angles? So if you look at our first equation, it's on a B angle. And our second equation is on an A angle. Well, if they don't match, we know they're not congruent. We know that they have to be supplementary, okay? So supplementary means that they are going to add 
A plus B is going to equal 180 degrees. That's how we're going to figure this out, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our two equations and we're going to add them together to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one we start with. I'm going to start with A, which is uh, 10x plus 14, and then I'm going to add it to B. So I'm going to add 4x plus 12, and I know together they equal 180. That's the first part. Okay, so I got this big, long um, equation, and that's an indication that I'm going to have to combine like terms. So I'm going to combine 10x with four, positive 4x to get 14x, and I'm going to combine positive 14 with positive 12 to get positive 26 equal 180. And now I'm down to that two-step equation again. So I'm going to subtract 26 to get rid of that, cancel it out. So 14x equal 180 minus 26 is going to give me 154. And then I want to do the last step, undo that, that multiply here. So divide by 14. So we cancel. And 154 divided by 14 is going to give us x equaling 11. Now, we don't know. Um, it does not ask us to give the actual angle measures. But if you had to give the angle measures, you would take 11 and put it back in for x and get each angle measure. Okay, and we'll do that in the next lesson. Right now, we're focused on solving for x. All right, last one then, and this one, so we've actually done these two in previous lessons. The last one is the last new lesson on solving for x. So you start the same way. That's the good news with these parallel lines and transversals is that we start out the same way each time. So A, B, just label. It doesn't take that long, and it will help you get make sure that you get the correct answer in the end um, by labeling. And I know I'm using different colors, but I'm also using different letters so that if you don't have different colors, you can still get the pattern and get the right answer. Okay, so I've labeled all my things. Now I want to look for an automatic answer again. So are there any degrees listed? And again, there are not. However, if I look at my two equations, 15 plus 2x is on an A, and 13x plus 5 is also on an A. That means that these two are congruent, okay? Um, so congruent means that they are equal. Okay, so that doesn't mean they add to 180. It means that they are equal. So what we're going to do when we write our equation out is we are going to set them equal to each other. So when I write it, 15 plus 2x is going to be equal to 13x plus 5. Now, this looks like something that we've done way in the beginning of the year, and that is to have an equation on both sides. So when we have an x on both sides of the equation, we want to cancel one of them out. All right, so I'm going to cancel out the 13x. In order to do that, I'm going to subtract it. So minus 13x here, but I need to then minus it from the 2x on this side. Okay, so 2x minus 13x is going to give me negative 11x. I want to bring down that 15, my equal sign, and I want to bring down this positive 5. And now I have the two-step equation again. So I'm going to cancel the positive 15 by subtracting it. I'll subtract it over here. So now I'm going to bring down negative 11x equal 5 minus 15 is going to give me negative 10. And in this case, I am going to get a decimal. I'm going to divide by negative 11. And I get x equal, hold on one second, uh, about, and then I'm going to have to round it here, about, so that's my about sign, 0.9. And, it, and if we want to be exact, it's actually x equal 0.90 repeating. 
Okay, and that's how we solve for it if we have congruent angles. Okay, if you have my class, we are have all of these types on the back, okay? So if you turn it over, the assignment is on the back. Notice I started with number 11. I cut the first 10 because I just want to practice on those types, okay? So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me but all, they are all, there are all three types on the back. Start by labeling and then decide, do you have um, congruent angles, supplementary angles, or do you have one that's equal to a degree already? Okay, again, if you have any trouble, make sure you email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day, everybody.